Spectacular Indie Forever The Day of Lovers in Mexico is fast approaching and on the 14th it will be dressed of hearts, roses and of love but it has lived in different ways in different countries. And in the LearnX community, we offer you this information so that when you travel, you are informed and full of knowledge. This day isn't celebrated in all countries. Although February 14th is the most international date for the celebration of Valentine's Day, in Brazil, Dia do Enamorados takes place every June 12th. Even more curious is the case of Bolivia, which is the only one in its environment that does not celebrate Valentine's Day as such, but uses Love and Friendship Day every September 21st. Another different date, July 30th, is the one chosen by the Israelis to commemorate their particular day of Jewish lovers, to be a. In Egypt, the day that couples have marked in red on the calendar is November 4th. The most romantic and long are the Uruguayans celebrating on the one hand Valentine's Day on September 21st and on the other Valentine's classical date February 14th. Verona, world capital of Valentine. The Italian city is the great world capital of Valentine's Day. Every year when February 14th arrives, the town located north of the country where Romeo and Juliet lived receives thousands of letters addressed to the protagonist of Shakespeare's work from around the world. The most tragic and important love story in the history of literature is to blame. Japan. Valentines, yes, but they only give them away. Like any imported holiday, Valentine's adaptation in the country of the rising sun was not entirely orthodox. Whether deliberately or by mistake, the truth is that on February 14th, it is only women who entertain their partners at the party known as Tanabata. Tradition says that they should give chocolate to their boyfriends. Also, that a month later, it must be men who respond to this detail with flowers on White Day. More and more Japanese couples are taking advantage of the February 14th celebration to climb Mount Fuji and ring the love bell three times asking for eternal love. Be careful with the number of roses that are given to you if you are in China. As in Spain, one of the industries that has the most economic performance on February 14th is that of the floriculture. Unlike what happens here, where the number of roses that make up the bouquet has no special meaning. There, you have to be very careful with the number of roses you give. According to tradition, only one means you are the only one. 11, that you are my favorite. 99, the promise of forever love. And 108, a request for marriage. As you can see, the difference with the naked eye between these last two options forces us to count to the last rose and to review the count. Anonymous messages in Denmark. Much Closer is one of the most intriguing games that are reserved for February 14th. These are the anonymous poems that the Danish men send to their intended ones. Given the anonymous nature of the letters, the space that remains empty in the return address is used to write a small rhyme for each of the letters that make up the name of the sender. If the person manages to guess who is the man behind these verses, this will be reciprocated with an Easter egg, thus opening the door to the first date. The Croats, the most cloying. Every February 14th, the lovers give themselves huge heart-shaped biscuits and decorate the most pompous that includes, as if it were not enough, a mirror on the top. On top, it is written what we imagine is with chocolate or some sort of pastry dressing, the inscription, I give you my heart, see who is inside it. Valentine, secretly in Iran. Although it is not allowed, young Iranians take advantage every February 14th to secretly and avoiding any show of affection in public, enjoy the special day with their partners. Something widespread among the youngest who, despite everything, exchange gifts in private to avoid public punishment. Quirky Alone Day. 
February 14th not only celebrates Valentine's Day, it was 2003 when a group of American feminists decided to establish a day of singles who prefer to live better alone than in bad company. Beyond the various events scheduled for that day, they take advantage of and pull out whatever is considered a mere commercial ploy to claim that no one should feel compelled to lead a life as a couple despite social pressure. Forever Alone Contrary to what happens with Quirk Alone, in South Korea, single people who fail to stop being so over time regret their forced singleness on a day reserved for themselves. Such is the relevance that it is acquiring that, during the days surrounding this date, the Gaza Talk app, downloads are triggered in which an imaginary friend serves as a virtual company for the loneliest and most desperate people. According to its creator in South Korea, the number of downloads already exceeds 4 million, which is about 10% of the country's population. Now that we've given you a little insight of how this day is celebrated around the world, tell us below in the comments, how do you celebrate Valentine's Day? Feedback Learning. English Forever. Estamos en sintonía. Feedback Learning. English Forever.